to talk about the negotiation processes. How do you build a, a rapport and relationship? Um, you know, do you bargain? Do you do you just how how does that go? Uh, that's uh, it, no. Whenever you get into a new country, it's it's kind of hard to for a new businessman to say understand what is the best way to do it. Um, one one of the things that people have found over the years uh, dealing with India is to hook up with an uh, Indian uh, company, partner with them. So that way, it, it's when you're dealing with the local market, it helps you out on what is the best way to go about it. Now, when it comes to negotiating with your partner in India, you got to understand what is, uh, what's the reason you're being there primarily. What is your product? And uh, what are you planning to do? Is that a long-term relationship that you're looking for, or is that something for a just to get a foothold within the Indian market. So get the priorities straight and then uh, engage a law firm within India or a, a multinational company who's got experience uh, with Indian uh, judicial system. That will help a long way in making sure that you have the right understanding and building up a great business relationship with uh, India and then it's definitely going to be something that um, a lot of companies have met some with success so, so far. Deepa, you want to add something? You have been in business world for a long time. Mm -hmm. I can probably just give some examples of bargaining. Maybe if you're really looking for a job and you're expecting a certain salary, say for example 50,000 rupees is what you're expecting, you should probably quote a higher figure if you want to get something like 50. So you may start off with 65 or 70 when you would land up with something like 50. And the same would probably even apply to if you're selling a product in India. If you know for sure what you're expecting for that product, you may probably want to quote something higher than what you want to get. 